Hello and welcome to Nerdy Unreal Dev. So I'm sure we've all had that moment when we're importing meshes and we bring it in and we realize it's the wrong size and the wrong angle. This is a magic wand I created and have up for sale on my coffee. But as you can see, it's not the right size. But how do you fix this? Well, it's a little hidden, but it is possible. So there's a couple ways of going about this. So the first method is we scroll down under, uh, all the way down to import settings. And you have all sorts of stuff um, regarding light maps and mesh LODs. But under transform, uh, you're able to change the scale, the rotation. So if I were to, this is the X. For those of you who can never remember uh, which, what way to rotate things, you're not alone. So we'll rotate that 90 degrees so it's upright and I probably had this as some sort of default, but we'll bring it down to maybe 20. And once you have uh, your settings, you can hit reimport ba base mesh. I just hit F on the keyboard and it framed it. And you can see the wand is now upright and much smaller, and you can see that in the viewport as well. Now, if you're in a scenario where perhaps the mesh isn't one you created, but one from an asset pack, uh, there your options are a bit more limited. However, if I can find it, because it is a little buried, under LOD zero, build settings, you do have build scale. So you can increase the scale from there. So make this notable, noticeable, we'll just do this by 20. And then hit apply changes. And again, hit save. And you can see it over here as well. Just hit F to frame it. And that's all there is to it. It's the settings are admittedly very hidden, but you are capable of changing the size. And if you import the mesh, the scale or the size is the scale, the rotation of your mesh within Unreal. Thank you for watching. Uh, please consider uh, giving me a tip on my coffee. If you like the look of this model, it does also come with textures. You can pick that up in my store. Or hey, maybe while looking at this 3D object, you were thinking, well, that's great. But you know, I also need a 2D program to do some hand painted textures. You can get a copy of Clip Studio Paint in the link below. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.